That lil' young ain't up to something, he gon' roll when it's right Ain't no question, they gon' make him take a soul in the night Once he ran from automatics, he done chose So, excuse me At 16, 17 years old, you, you outside doing your own thing Moving around, moving around the city, your neighborhood Okay, so at what point did you start having like run-ins with the police and the laws? Man, I went to juvenile Every time going to juvenile my uncle Pot and them used to go in the store. They when they was young, go in the store, change the shoes, knowing I could go get what I want, but I probably already got what I want. Go in there, I mean, get the shoe, tell them bring out the shoes, take the shoes off, and put the old ones in a box and walk out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And this is what I learned from my uncle now. First time going to juvenile, knowing that weed on me and everything. I go, I go right to jail. My mom was like, what the fuck? Oh, they took the juvenile for that situation. Yeah, yeah. Then she left me in there. <laughs> I'm hot as fish grease. Man, man, woman. So it just, after that, I think, you know, you get to start feeling yourself like you grown. Shit, I'm getting a juvenile. Shit. But then you not understanding you creating some dumb shit. You creating a rap sheet on your name, and then when you be trying to go do certain shit, you got these people looking at you, and then you got to put on a sad face. But it's like, nah, you got to man up. You did that shit back then, so you got to serve the consequences and deal with that shit. Right, right, yeah. right. So what you know now, like, let's just say going back to yourself as a juvenile, you ain't juvenile. When you had got out, knowing what you know now, what would you have did differently? Man, I wouldn't have been in there doing no dumb shit like that. I just wouldn't have. Sure. It just went. It just went and went down. For sure. Now I do got to ask you a question about because I asked uh, another rapper, fourteen-year-old uh, Lil Rodney from Fort Worth. Yeah. He uh, has some run-ins with laws and stuff like that. I do want to ask you personally though. What do you think is more effective on the youth? Is it the, in the environment that the youth lives in, or is it the household? It can be both. Cause you got to be strict and stump down on your kids. You know what I'm saying? I'm married. Me and my wife don't have kids. But I damn near well know my kid ain't running on me, man. It's, I ain't going. It's not going. And I'm going to make sure I don't do shit in front of you. So, you know, and then kids get comfortable the way they talk to their parents. And then you do shit in front of them in the household. And then they take it out. I thought, yeah, man, my mom going be smoking the weed in front of me. Be. It's just they, the conversation get to going. Then you got to look at these the principals, the teachers. And then if you a black man, you show damn the fuck though, because they gonna press the issue on your ass. Have your family all locked up, CPA. You just stay away from that shit. It start with the parents though. You got parents want to live through their kids' life because they didn't get to do what they damn, wanted to that's do. That's real. That's that's you see what I'm saying. Yeah. It get deep. Yeah. I watch all that. You know what I'm saying. So when that when that when that trigger and go on, you creating some whole other shit, man. You gotta be a parent and stump down parent the do's and the don'ts. But then when you don't set the foundation in your household, you get some dumb shit. <laughs> That's real. That lil' young ain't up to something. He gon' roll when it's right. Ain't no question they gon' make him take a soul in the night. Once he ran from automatics, he done chose not to fight. We gon' catch